Hi guys and welcome to another ESP32 technical tutorial. In this edition we're going to talk about the BMP180 or BMP180. Now this is a little module, can be picked up on eBay or other electronic suppliers for about two bucks and its purpose in life is to provide input data for both uh, air temperature and air pressure. Very nice little device. Um, it connects to our ESP32 using the I squared C or I2C addressing as I'm going to call it or the address bus as I'm going to call it and uh, it's very very easy to connect uh, we basically here's a here's a here's what it looks like this is what it physically looks like uh, it's got a number of pins it comes in a couple of models but uh, the model I've got has got four pins on it voltage and the I2C uh, clock and the I2C data uh, I then wired it into my ESP32 module like this. Couldn't be simpler. Really, really easy stuff. And then once it's wired in, we have to write some software in order to read the data from it. Now, the software, uh, if we look at what's called a data sheet, the data sheet of the BMP180 describes in detail its mechanical configurations, its minimums and maximums for power and uh, other operating characteristics but then if we were to study the data sheet schematics and the data sheet data it describes the algorithm that one would have to write in ESP32 code in order to read the data from it and the algorithm isn't rocket science uh, but there's a whole bunch of uh, compensation values we have to read and there's timing associated with it and then there's a whole bunch of mathematics that have to be performed Thankfully, the uh, Bosch, the makers of the BMP180, have pre-worked out what that algorithm should be. But the bottom line is, there's a whole bunch of math. So what we've done is we have produced a sample program. So this is a C language sample program, which incorporates all the algorithmics necessary to uh, read data through the I2C environment and uh, then it performs the mathematics that was described in the data sheet in order to calculate both the temperature and the pressure. So I'll put this up on GitHub and I'll make a link available to it. Thankfully, uh, in reality, you wouldn't have to write this yourself. You would just grab either my copy or somebody else's copy and you would make calls to read the temperature and read the pressure and you're done. Uh, so you don't actually have to understand all this code, just use it. So I've got here an ESP32, which is ticking away every couple of seconds. It's reading the temperature and the temperature data comes out in degrees centigrade, which uh, just few some simple math we can convert into uh, Fahrenheit. And it also reads the pressure in pascals, which we can convert to inches of mercury. Again, just pure arithmetic. Now, if I place my finger over the over the uh, uh, the sensor, we should find that the temperature starts to rise, 76 degrees, and apparently I'm going to go 79 degrees. And if I hold it there, it's going to get warmer and warmer, uh, as I'm a warm-blooded animal. And if I take my finger off the device, it should start to cool down. So this is measuring the air temperature in my home in Texas. A nice balmy 70 odd degrees inside my house. So uh, really that's all there is to say about uh, using this module. Now obviously this module is uh, got nothing whatsoever to do with the ESP32. It's been used successfully in Arduinos and Raspberry Pis and various other electronic projects. But in this tutorial, we've spoken about how we can connect the BMP180 to the ESP32, and we see that there is a library available for it. Now, I've got a few more things to show you on this, so uh, I'm going to pause a second while I get set up for this. Okay, I'm back, and what I've done is I've set up the uh, ESP32 duct tape environment. That's a JavaScript environment that runs on the ESP32. And one of the things we've also done is we've provided a BMP180 module. So here's a JavaScript program which loads the module, says get me the temperature, get me the pressure, and then logs the temperature and the pressure both in degrees centigrade and Fahrenheit and Pascals and inches of mercury and then loops around. So this here 
is a complete program for reading data from the BMP180 and logging it to the console. Let me hit the run button. Uh, that loads the, over the network, that loads the uh, uh, JavaScript program onto the ESP32, and now it's running. Now, I've left a lot of debug in this, but we can see here that every few seconds, we list out the temperature and the pressure. So this is running, and every loop, we log out temperature and pressure, temperature and pressure. And again, if I put my finger over the, uh, the uh, device, we see the temperature start to rise as uh, my own body temperature increases the temperature of the device. So we've got both C libraries and JavaScript libraries and uh, the choice is up to you which one you want to use but again we've demonstrated now that we can interact through I2C to an arbitrary device in this case the BMP180 and retrieve from it sensor data such as temperature and pressure. Uh, look for the links to this code in the uh, 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 comment section in the YouTube video, and I hope you found this useful. I look forward to making more of these in the future. Thanks, guys, and bye-bye.